All right, so the last step uh, to doing the box and pan assignment is to spot weld these tabs, and that's what's actually going to hold it together. Um, <clears throat> now, some of the th things to keep in mind when you do this is same like when we did our hems, we want to make sure there's no gap on the back side of the hem. Uh, make sure there's no big gaps between your tab and your side. If there is, go to the vise uh, with a ball peen hammer and just tap them down a little bit. So put this on the edge of the vise and then tap that down. Uh, make sure it's as tight as you can get it. And then another thing you want to check is to make sure this thing is pretty square. Uh, so look at this angle here and this angle here. This one looks okay. Uh, you can get a square and check it before you spot weld it. Make sure it's not too bad. Um, but the square things are, the better they are. So make sure you get them square. Okay? Now, <clears throat> When you do this, uh, open up the jaw, uh, and you're going to set this in here. Uh, for this assignment, for this first assignment, you can get away with one spot weld. Uh, so get it in the middle of the tab, push down, and then uh, pull the trigger. Okay. And then uh, do the other ones here. So just rotate through. Uh, Okay, and if you want to, you can do two. Just don't uh, do them right on top of each other. Okay, remember this will get hot. And if it sparks, that's completely normal. Okay, that's just a, it's uh, making a connection across the two pieces. Make sure you give the spot welder a little bit of a break. Don't just keep welding and welding and welding. Okay? I'm going to add one more to this first one because I only did one. So it's your choice. You can do one or two. Okay? And now this box and pan is assembled and she won't come apart. Okay? So once you're done, make sure you write your name on here with a sharpie.